Hi guys, welcome again to my new video for the day. Today we're going to be talking about the Clintons and the Clinton Global Initiative. Now, the Clinton Global Initiative or the Clinton Fund or whatever you want to call it is basically the Clintons slush fund for their money. So they want to give money to somebody that they shouldn't that's that they put it through there somebody that they should not be officially associated with wants to give them money they poured it through there um, this was closed in 2008 or 7 because they were charging people more than they should have so someone would donate ten dollars and they would charge them like 90 or 80 or something <clears throat> so that on top of there were irregularities of how their money was used because officially it's supposed to be just a, uh, it's supposed to be like a non-profit. But them and Jeffrey Epstein used it for other nefarious things, right? So here we have this article. It says, according to a lawyer, Alan Dershowitz, Jeffrey Epstein helped conceive the Clinton Global Initiative managed by the Clintons. In 2007, Dershowitz wrote in a letter to prosecutors about the convicted sex offender's role. Epstein was part of the original group that conceived the Clinton Global Initiative, which is described as a project bringing together a community of global leaders to devise and implement innovative solutions to some of the world's most pressing challenges. The Clinton Foundation has announced a reboot of the Clinton Global Initiative. Many people are wondering if this means that two-time failed presidential candidate will make another run for the White House in 2024. A letter from former President Bill Clinton confirmed that Foundation's donors are behind the Clinton reboot, according to the Associated Press. Although the letter claims the Foundation will focus on COVID, democracy, and climate change, critics note that these issues have existed for years, so why the sudden decision to get involved now? Because we have a president that won't look at anything they're doing because we have a system right now under a weak president where they can get away with things. Like this is not a, an amazing, you know, it's not hard to think about why they would do it now. Excuse me. But what I think what you will find is people won't even know that this is going on. And when I talked about my Russia, my Russia, Ukraine video, and it could be that this uh, that it could be something that is a distraction as well from things this could be it this could be one of the many things that you know they're distracting us from so <clears throat> i don't know if that is true about ukraine um, it's obvious people are dying it's obvious that people are having a, a hard time but it's also obvious that things are weird over there so <clears throat> Oh, and here's something people aren't really talking about. Uh, this is not a good thing to be happening. Clintons don't need a way, another way to get more money to themselves. They don't need, I mean, when all this Jeffrey Epstein stuff was going on and people, he was arrested and he was supposed to be giving them names and stuff like that, the Clintons and the Clinton Foundation were part of of his little network to bring children to his island and you know have them for that kind of nastiness okay so many times Bill Clinton has been to Mr. Epstein's um, island and uh, participated in these gross things that went on there so <clears throat> to me uh, no, let me research. So this right here is reminding me once again, something I never saw any other time under any other president was that when Trump, just after Trump became president, I started seeing articles about uh, child pornography rings just going down. I think I saw like three articles about that. Did you guys see that? Did you guys read that? Now, these articles were inconspicuous. They weren't tossed up into the limelight. They weren't, no one was talking about it. No one was talking about it. And I'm just like, okay. But I saw three major, I read articles about three major child pornography rings go down while he was president. So to me, that means he did something or, or didn't do something or something to allow for these things to happen. You don't, 
I have not been able to find articles about major childhood rings going down since then. If anything, I keep seeing articles about child trafficking going up since this, okay? So, <clears throat> you make your own decision, take it for what it is. Let me know down in the comments what you think. Have you noticed anything? Have you seen anything? Uh, did you know about this already? I didn't. I found it quite randomly one day, actually. So, um, I don't know. You guys just let me know what you think about it, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!